Apex Dogie Sandwich bringing you yet another interview. One of the top names, one of the big names, one of the fan favorites, the zookeeper, all the way from the West Coast, coming from Cali. Say what's up to the people, Zoo. Uh, what's up, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Not too much. Not too, say. Much. <laughs> Not too much. How's the tournament been for you? You looking relaxed, looking like you've been having a real good time, man. This has been a great tournament in that um, I, I like that the tournament was stopped and just did one match at a time. That's very important to me because um, it just has more hype. Like having two big matches split onto two TVs is... Uh, I don't know, it, it kind of ruins it for me, and it's like a really simple thing, but a lot of tournaments don't do this, and I'm really happy that we did this. That's my favorite thing about this tournament. Oh, man, well, breaking down from the tournament, how, how did teams go for you? Who would you team with, and uh, what happened for you? I got, uh, I got to team with Vans, and um, he's been he's up and coming into the East Coast, and I love teaming with Peach, but um, we did really well in pools, but once we got into bracket, we got two really tough teams. Um, he's a Peach Puff player, and... Um, the team that we lost to, uh, the teams that we lost to were Hungry Box and Hacks and Taj and Axe, and both of those teams had um, a character that was uh, really difficult for Peach to fight, and um, I think that caught us a little bit off guard. We didn't really have a plan for that. If we fought some of the other teams, I think we would might have uh, done better. But yeah, overall, we're a little bit disappointed. But I don't know, maybe next time. That's still good. That's still good. There's plenty of people still gonna love you like it is. Um, what was your favorite match throughout the entire tournament? It doesn't have to be one of your matches, but you know, maybe something you saw, or just maybe something you did with Vans. Um, I think I think the 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 most enjoyable set or sets were to be um, Axe's run through losers. He essentially, um, I, who did he lose to in winners? Do you remember? Um, I think it was Arma Armada. Yeah, he lost Armada very convincingly. And then he just went through losers, destroying all these foxes and falcos and all these characters, and it was just wow, just combo after combo after comeback, and that was that was just great. Like just like three, four sets in a row, just him destroying everybody. That was probably the highlight of the tournament for me. Oh man, well, getting off of X, how do you feel about your singles? How did the pools go for you? And um, you know, how did it break down when you made it to brackets? Um, my first pool was uh didn't have any big names. Um, I lost the match to the Lake, who's a Zelda player, right? And um, he, he plays a very methodical Zelda, especially against Falco, and he's really good at trading hits and not letting himself lose damage and stuff. And he took the Shizwiz to third match, and it was really close. So um, yeah, he was, he was very good. My second pool was a little bit strange. Um, I had PC Chris in my pool, who I happened to 2-0, but um, D1, um, uh, Fox, or player I think from the East Coast beat um, PC which I think ruined the the seeds a little bit but yeah my my pool wasn't quite a death pool but still good players but yeah um, I made it out and what happened when you got out <laughs> oh um oh there's dark saying hi to me um <laughs> uh, okay guys we got me oh what happened when you, what happened when you got out of the pool what happened in brackets um, I, I started with a bye, which was very a very comfortable position. Um, it's it's pretty tough, especially like you know going first round, maybe someone difficult, and then having to fight a first seed. But I didn't have to worry about that. Like, I felt like my bracket was almost perfect for me in that um, I got my favorite matchups. I got like a fox. I got uh, what did I get? No, I got a falco and then a fox and then I don't know. I got armada and. Well, he's tough, but I mean, I lost him. But then I got, I got a Falcon, and oh, essentially, I just got the perfect bracket for me. I, it couldn't have gotten any better, basically. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Well, let, let's take a second and pretend it's about something, all right? You know, let's make a little story. Let's just say I'm a brand new player, right? Know absolutely nothing about the game. I want to pick up the bird, man. What are the things you can tell me um, that'll help me get into where you, where you're at right now? You know, making, making it in the brackets in the apex. Uh, especially for a character like Fox, and this includes Falco as well, or almost basically all the characters, but specifically Falco, um, you gotta have your tech skill down. Um, if, if your hands can't keep up with your brain, you will lose. Um, especially with Falco who gets punished so hard, you gotta, you gotta be able to do everything your head tells you to do. And, um, that that's 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 just the minimum, and um, if you don't have that bare minimum, I recommend playing another character. Yeah, have have the tech skill. Play against players 
play against players that um, you are comfortable fighting that you would beat, actually. My strongest recommendation is to play against players that you can comfortably beat because then you'll gain confidence and you'll gain creativity and then you can work on your matchups and uh, the people that you go even with or lose to later on but st I would recommend starting with people that you can beat. Some sound advice, real sound advice. Well, here's a question for, uh, for you specifically as um, one of the many people who play Falco and Fox. What is something that calls for a change to Fox? or um, What calls for you to sit down to Fox? Be it like, you know, you start of a match or maybe you're gonna counter pick Fox? The main thing is, um, if a character is very difficult for Falco at least to kill, uh, I basically go Fox. Uh, I like Falco because he can combo, he can control uh, the match's pace. But once, um, once, uh, say, say Fox versus uh, or Falco versus Peach, for example, he doesn't really have any setups into the kill. He can control the matchup and get damage roll, but he doesn't get that kill very easily. So with Fox. It's kind of the opposite, like, he does, his combos aren't as hard as Falco's, but he, his kills are better, and for me, what more important, uh, the, more, the most important thing for me is just the, the kills, not everything in between, and um, what, I don't know, I, I just need to make sure I can get the kills, and Fox lets me do that, and that's basically it, so I, I would go Fox against, like, Peach, uh, Puff, just floaties that are difficult for Falco to kill, basically. Uh, does anything like a stage come into, uh, into your mind when you're picking between Falco and Fox? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I fought Armada in a grand final set last weekend or something, and um, I was doing relatively well, and then I counterpicked Stadium and Falco, and... Um, I think after that match, I think he three or four stocked me. It was it was complete dominance. Um, I, I think I realized um, Stadium is too much of a waste. <laughs> it's too good of a stage to waste for Falco. I should have I should have just gone Fox, even though I was playing good with Falco. I mean, it seems it's it's such a good counter pick that um, it's it's worth it just to change character. Yeah, there's certain stages that are definitely worth it, like uh, Stadium or Rainbow Cruise or something like that. So yeah, stages definitely matter. All right, well, sticking with your Falco a little bit more, um, what makes your Falco uh, what makes your Falco tick a little differently from, say, Shiz's or Pee-Pee's? You know, what is the seasoning on top of your bird? Shiz, Shiz is very fast. He's um, not to say that he's automatic, like he doesn't think, but he's so good where he doesn't need to, where he has it all down and it's just natural. Um, I don't quite have that mastery of the character, so. My matches are much slower paced than his. I kind of, I, I, I definitely go slower and I take my time and uh, I kind of like trade hits as opposed to trade combos. Um, PP is kind of like in between. I feel like he has the best of both. Uh, like Shiz has trouble with a lot of like random matchups. Oh, well, I, well, not I guess not that bad, but he has some trouble matchups where PP all around. I, I feel like. Forget, has a better chance in a big tournament, and um, yeah, she's. Uh, I'm not sure what you uh, done with that? I, I guess yeah. Uh, she's is aggressive. I'm kind of campy, and Peepee's like in between. I guess. Okay. We can work with it. <laughs> yeah, we can work with that. Um, not stopping with those two. Are there any other Falcons you like to talk about real quick? Um. Chops has the potential to be one of the best. He has such a good attitude, and his his execution and stuff is just as good as Shiz's. Is. And Shiz says he hates fighting Lamb Chops because he's a very frustrating player to fight. Um, I wish Chops would just slow down a little bit sometimes because he does lose and take uh, a lot of unnecessary risks. He's like the complete opposite of me <laughs> in many senses. Um, but yeah, he, he's really good. He's underestimated by a lot of people. Like, don't let his placing fool you. He's really that good all right and wrapping this up um is there anything you want to say to uh, say to the people you know give a few shout outs you know maybe some last minute tips or you know just a little bit of you time um <laughs> as hard as it is um coming into the melee community like it's, especially for new players um God, the, the players are so good and it's so hard to get good. Like, it seems like, it seems like um, for a while there haven't been any like new breakout players. Like the only breakout player I've seen in a while is like Dr. Pee Pee. And everyone else is kind of just 
doing about the same, like trading wins and stuff. But no one, no one is really like the, the next like Mango or the next uh, Armada. And I don't know. I, I wish there were more of more of those people. And um, I don't know. We could use more players, but it can definitely happen. Uh, Mashups and character uh, and tiers are kind of changing. Like, I don't know, Puff has been really good for a while, and I think Fox Falco were really, really good for a while, and now it's kind of shifted back to floaties again, and it's just cycling on and on. And I don't know, Pikachu got, what, f fifth at this tournament? Like, anything is possible. You guys can make it happen. Ice Climbers got fifth. I mean, yeah. So don't give up. Characters will make a comeback if you keep going at it. And. Yeah, Melee is a great game. It's very fulfilling. You'll love it. All right, thank you, thank you. Once again, that's Zeus, straight out of California. It's a doggy sandwich. Signing off. Peace. Awesome. Thank, thank you so no, much, thank man. Thank you.